Alright everyone, it's time to get on with the next game and the rewarding the rewarders 2012 to 2013 opportunity list. Brought to you by Looking Glass Studios. This cinematic is going to be of significant volume, by the way, so... Ye shall not rob from the house I have built. You might want to turn it down a little. Or commit any theft or unrighteousness. Lest ye be struck down and driven into the earth forthwith. And the land of the heathen consume you. The Book of the Stone. It is a world of darkness and... Wrong game. Is so awesome, not even I can talk that much over it, and I'm contractually obliged to do so. Shit. So, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the game, it's an oldie. Pretty much uh, set the tone for our modern day uh, action stealth games that you see. For example, Splitter Cell. It's a prevalent game. Quite popular. Many people have played it. I would not have recorded myself doing so myself, but part of the list. We're gonna go in and get started here. Uh, I think we can do our training mission on expert difficulty. We'll even do the first mission, the realsies one. Expert difficulty after that. I'll go for the training mission slow, I suppose. So, for those who are unfamiliar with the game, you can savor the dialogue and learn about some basic game mechanics if you're playing. All right. Alright. I'm a nice guy. The essence of balance is detachment. To embrace a cause, to grow fond or spiteful, is to lose one's balance. After which, no action can be trusted. Our burden it's not for the dependent of spirit. I was a kid. No parents, no home. Running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man. Folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. That's not for you. Please, sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. Alright, tutorial mission to teach you the basic mechanics of the game. Follow the directions of your instructor in order to pass the training test. Let's get started with that, shall we? Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. 
Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. Oh, if you're curious, for convenience sake, I'm playing the good old games version bought off of GOG.com with a wonderfully awesome and incredibly descriptive 640x480 screen resolution. I know. I'm living like I'm... I'm from 1999. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Alright, so the indicator being discussed there is in the bottom middle corner. It's a visibility gem. Uh, basically gauges how visible you are in your current environment. Stick to the shadows. Garrett is not a tank. The instruction manual will tell you that, particularly on expert difficulty, he's not a trained fighter and you can't bulldoze with him. Bottom left corner, the shields there are for health purposes. Keep that in mind. You run out of shields, you're dead. Let's go ahead and stick to the shadows here. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. The mooks in this game just as incapable of perception as is in other stealth games. How about that? Good. Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Map. There you are, a map. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some All surfaces right. are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. I think I can manage that. So, this particular tutorial tells you, rather teaches you about sound differences, depending on the surface you are walking on. Sound levels matter a great deal in this game. Uh, the auditory aspects of Thief are really spectacular for its time, and it was really a, it was a real trendsetter. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, in regards to my personal history of the game, had the demo, one of the few demos I really played the death out of, didn't do a whole lot with the game itself, though. Just never really ended up transpiring. Not really my genre. Let's see if I can make it my genre in this series. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. That is unfortunate. Beyond this door is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Whee! Ah, oh, damn. Rubbed up against the wall. Next up. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword, and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Okay. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Righto. Ready Targets. Your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure go. you draw all the way back. Or your shot will not have full power. And Take aim, you? And when you are ready to shoot, release your I think attack. I missed it. See it's irrelevant. One of these targets. Good We're shot. Done. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Swing at the target with the attack button. Okay. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left and... slash. And the right oh. of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. Let's go. And... On guard. Don't you be hitting me. It's cheating. Ah, damn. I missed. Well done. There we Keep go. Sparring, if you wish. When you are done, leave Put the, the item area. away. That's enough sparring for Pick today. Up the key. Please walk over to the table. Would you care for some refreshment before nope, we no move No refreshments. On, young Garrett. Serious business. Please pick up all of the items on this table. Get fucked. All right. So obviously we've broken the guidelines of the training that we were told about here. That is to show what the keepers are truly hiding within their lair. Let us brandish the key. Unlock this door. They have the first medieval basketball court in existence. I 
That is quite a treasure you have here. Let's see if I still got it. Hut! All right. Now take it. And we have a bedroll. For resting purposes? Not quite, I'll show you. Quotes from the Dark Team during the development of Thief, the Dark Project. I don't feel like a nut. Earlier, I had no choice. I should do work. Someone bring me my computer. You know, you're not. You're lucky I'm not wearing a G-string. Yeah, well, it's better to suck half as much than never to have sucked at all. Woohoo! Woohoo! I'm the bug fairy! You're half right. Where you going with that pumpkin, son? Yeah, I just save cows. Just think, around November 5th, it'll be tragically funny and suicidally grim, no matter what. Don't you be quoting me, you scurvy land lover! Arr! Uh, pirates don't say quote. Make it use some paprika. Paprika's the happy spice. I want to take damage and possibly even shout when I take damage. That can be arranged. You know, I'm wearing tights right now. Mock, you are one queer-ass freak. You know part of me wishes that that's the first time someone's told me that this week. I don't know which flow brushes to delete. I suggest you just blast them all and let God sort them out. Why don't we all just Xerox our asses and ship that? So Laura says that my ranting is environmental sound and not speech. What's that buzzing noise? It greatly affects one's workflow when one dies. Guns don't kill people, slave ants kill people. Where does the player arm come from? Well, there's a mommy player arm and a daddy player arm, and they both love each other very much, and the daddy player arm has a seed. It may be that he finds the sound of the arrow entering his body slightly suspicious. Qu'est-ce que c'est la frequency, Kenneth? Is map.pcxu... But not identically me. Well, I didn't mean it in the... Is map.pcx in his office sense. You're a Newtonian grinder! I'm a what? It's like an organ grinder without the monkey. You should have five servings of fruit a day. Dorian, you're my fruit. We want the end game to be the climax of the mission, and you can't sustain a climax for 45 minutes. At least I can't. It may be stupid, but it's a well-oiled stupidity. It has a certain je ne sais quoi, but I don't know what it is. The team bananas will be kept in my office until they ripen, so that Mike doesn't eat them. Thank you. I had four of these full of coffee today, and actually saw and spoke to God, and he likes how the project's going. My arm won't come off! It all came down to sheep. I revoke your brain! Your arm's only physical when you're thinking about it. <laughs> there are no licking attacks in this game! It's an unnatural thing to get back up from the dead anyway. The physics system is a harsh mistress. Dorian is literal about everything. No, I'm not! Everything is too strong a word to use. Nobody uses the word ruly. I know, I'm just feeling gruntled. <laughs> Next thing you know, you'll be plussed. It's his butt that has the velocity. Yeah, I get killed all the time these days. Hey, where'd the humans go? I'm very wary of the dangers of stacking objects myself. Enough dancing! More singing! There's a fine line between serenity and NUI. If you're talking about me, I didn't touch the brain. It's like fingernails on the chalkboard of your soul. In my level, I've been using a bush and a rolling pin as a lockpick. The quote list sure isn't going to help me convince my mom that I'm not gay. All right then, everyone. Good talk. Go ahead and drop that. We won't be... Am I caught on the bedroll? That's adorable. Go ahead and continue. Hello. 
And goodbye. Well, now that we had that little sort of fourth wall breakage, let's actually do what we were asked to do. Pick up these wonderful items. What do we have there? We have a healing potion. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Okay. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. The next test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. The door Fantastic. is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To unlock the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door Not on the screen until it lights up. Then use the key on the door. Good. Now head down this hallway right. to get to your next test. Whee! Oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. My frame rate is fluctuating wildly. People expect me to be able to play like Witcher 2 in endless space. Get him here. Now you will learn new movement skills. First, All right. climb the rope by jumping onto it. I can do Move that. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. And Turn to go! Change your facing. Piss. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top Don't of the Don't you fuck with me, game. <laughs> Well done. Run All right. Across the gap to the other side of the stream. Good that wasn't job. necessary, everyone. This obstacle. But I did is it anyway. To climb, if you know how. First, and all right, I'm done with you. Next, jump get out of my life. Of the wall and pull yourself up. Good the job. Keepers were I'm most pleased with your progress. You have passed the last test. Let me take that. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. How about we just go with mission complete? I wanted that vase, everyone. It's an important part of my life. We successfully followed the directions of your instructor in order to pass the training tests. It only took us seven minutes and twelve seconds to do so. I could have speed ran that, but then you all wouldn't have gotten to hear the pretty flavor text and the very important quotations. All right. Dun dun dun. promising acolyte left us, not out of the lesser folly of sentiment, but the greater folly of anger. His heart was clouded, and his balance was lost, but his abilities were unmatched. Even then, you to watch him most carefully. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in. Around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter. Silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place, and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. But we'll have to save that for next time, folks. I have to stop the recording, check to see how the sound levels were, eyeball the frame rate, and if necessary, do that entire first segment again. Because I care. Qu'est-ce que c'est la frequency, Kenneth? I'll see you all next time.